I remember the day exactly, July 14th, Bastille Day, 2000, hot day. In the uh, morning, I was out in the garden painting some of Yvette's flowers. Beautiful, sunny, uh, went in and had lunch. And it, the clouds were building up really well that day. And I said, after lunch, I said to Yvette, I'm going to head out into the country and get some of the skies. You know, I love painting skies. It's beautiful cathedral clouds building up. So I didn't have to go very far. It was about uh, two miles north of Benalto, towards Sylvan Lake. Um, great full-fledged canola field in front of me, some woods in the background looking to the west, uh, great clouds building up off the mountains. So I said, this is it. Got set up and started to paint. And some big, massive clouds sort of drifted into the painting and I had it sketched in. It was getting darker, the, the cloud was taking on a body and a, and, a, and a color to it and it just seemed very stationary. And about halfway through the painting, it was coming along nicely. Um, for some reason unbeknownst to me, I suddenly reached down onto my palette, squeezed out a big glob of cadmium red why am I doing that? There's no reason for that. And instead of using a brush and playing it, I just, it was almost like, I, I don't know, something seemed to take over. I grabbed a cloth from my box, scooped it up, a glob of this red, and I just smeared it into this big cloud that was sitting there. And I thought, oh, what the, what have I done now? Why, where's that from? Uh, it doesn't belong. I've ruined the painting. It was this raw meat color, and so and now I got to work with what I've done, right? So now I'm trying to correct this thing, make it look more cloud-like, subdue the red a little bit. But the red is in this this cloud, and I thought, okay, well, there's the painting. It's not a great painting. It's didn't turn out the way I anticipated at all. Uh, then I uh, said, well, since I'm here, I might as well do a couple of more little studies. So I had a couple of small panels like this, get that canola field and the, the clouds and everything like that. So I wrapped up about six o'clock. It was a hot, hot day. And I think I was out of water by this time. And it was, you get to the point too where you're, it's getting a little thundery and you think, well, I better pull my easel. I'm on a metal easel, right? I'm not too smart. <laughs> Pack things up. And as I turned, I looked toward Red Deer, and the sky was absolutely black. There's this bright canola field in front of me, a band of extreme yellow, and this black sky. I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? And uh, when I got home, uh, I was un I'd unpacked things, and a neighbor phoned about seven o'clock and said, oh my God, have you heard there's been a, a tornado hit Pine Lake? And I realized, that, that cloud that I had painted, I remember watching it distinctly sh stall and then start shifting south again and going over toward Innisfail and melding with all the other black skies and it became obviously part of the tornado. So. Yeah. And that, when I, I remember when Mary Beth was looking at that painting, it's not a great painting, you know, and then she said, oh, what's that about? And I said, I think you need this painting because of the story behind it, you know, uh, because of what happened here in central Alberta, all those people dying. I said, there's some kind of weird connection to this piece. You know, we talk about the psychology of color, but what, what bothered me and still bothers me to this day is where that impulse came from to grab that red. It's possessed or something, I don't know. Because that one was you in control. <laughs> no, yeah, that's exactly right. I suddenly wasn't in control anymore, and it bothered me. Um, it, I think I, f I have this. I still have this fear that I, some part of me knew something that the rest of me didn't. And the fear is, where did that come from? 